Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. And I am so excited to now be vlogging with you guys knowing I'm pregnant. I just feel like there, there's been so much of me like self-editing. I'm like, nope, can't say that, can't show that. Don't wanna talk about that yet. And now I just feel like the floodgates are open. So um, speaking of being able to talk candidly about my pregnancy, I planned to wake up early today and go to the gym for the first time in I think like a month and a half. Really early in my pregnancy, I was still like able to work out and stuff. I felt, you know, pretty normal. But since like around week seven, when my nausea really kicked in. I just, I was like, you know, trying to get through the day, really not feeling well. And so I haven't worked out in a while and I really want to get back in the habit of it now that I'm starting to feel better. So I was like, okay, today is the day I'm going to wake up. We're going to feel good. We're going to get ready, uh, go work out before my work day. And then, well, it's kind of funny that I'm saying, you know, oh, now that I'm feeling better because I did just throw up, but I feel okay. Like it, I, right now I'm, it's, that's only happening like once or twice a week. And usually like 20 minutes after I feel totally fine again. Like it's true morning sickness. So I, I went and laid back down for a couple minutes and now I am feeling good. So I'm going to get ready. We'll head to the gym and I just want to do like a super easy chill workout. I don't want to overdo it. Obviously it's been a minute. And also like, I really just want to start getting back into the habit of going. It doesn't have to be like the most intense workout. I just want to, you know, get back in the habit of going. And I think even though sometimes I am a little sick in the mornings, the mornings are the best time to go because there's been a couple times in the past few weeks that I've planned on going in the evening. And then I'm just so tired by the time the evening comes around. Like it's just it's not gonna happen, so. Let's go get ready, pack a bag. I'm gonna shower at the gym, which I always really like because my gym has like really nice amenities and stuff. And that's part of the reason I'm like, okay, it's worth paying a little bit more. Except that like my, fa my favorite amenity that they have is the eucalyptus steam room. And honestly, like knowing that I would go sit in that after my workouts was like part of like what got me to go. Cause I was always looking forward to that. And now I can't do that cause I'm pregnant. So no eucalyptus steam room, but we're gonna have a good workout. I'm gonna get a smooth movie there. Let's go get dressed. Not me just sitting in my car for like 10 minutes when I pulled up because I didn't want to go in. And when I'm already like kind of short for time on the workout, that was not the best choice, but we're going in. We're going to do like 30 minutes of movement. It's going to be good. <laughs> I did it. I'm done. It it was it was fine. It wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. It was fine. I just felt like a little sluggish with everything, but I'm I'm glad I went and I want to try and make a habit of it. Go at least once a week. I'm going to aim for twice a week right now, but I feel like that I, if I'm not doing that, I really need to just like pause my gym membership because to pay for a membership and not use it, like I just I don't want to do that. But I would I would like to be somewhat active in my pregnancy and keep exercising. I know that's important. And most of the time, not not really today, but most of the time I do enjoy it. So glad I got back to it today. Got my smoothie too. And now uh, gonna head back home and get into some work. Also, my car is so clean. Look at that. Steven like detailed my car randomly yesterday. I was gonna take Grace to the mall and he was like, why don't you take my car and leave your car and I'll clean it out for you. And that was so nice because that was definitely not something that I was gonna do for myself anytime soon. And now to have like a nice clean car. He like went in and like cleaned all the little crevices and everything. It was so sweet. And now I have a clean car. So yay. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, and a cat cameo. <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs> Give Ruben and Jess time to break down the upstairs studio and set up the garage studio and then we'll all break for lunch. All right. It is 1130. Day is going well. Um, I got caught up on my email, my Slack messages, did some random little admin tasks that had been on my to-do list. And then um, we just had our meeting for the video where we're styling your most hated trends, fashion trends of 2023, which we're shooting next week. And that's actually our last video for the year. The last one we're posting, but we still have two more videos that we're filming this year. We're just getting a little bit ahead, which is great. So um, that's gonna be a super fun shoot. We got all the details nailed down for that. Now I, I have a couple videos that I need to review, send my notes on. And then, um, oh, before I do any of that, I have some footage I need to organize and get sent to Rachel. Um, and then I think probably after that, I'll take my lunch. Um, and then after 
lunch. We're filming a couple intros for uh, upcoming Schultzy Collective videos. So that is what's going on. Let's, let's take your memory card because some of the footage I need is on this camera. <laughs> All right, lunchtime. And I am making one of my factor meals for lunch. Factor is the sponsor of today's vlog. And I, I'm just so stoked that Factor has wanted to keep working with me because I have just become such a fangirl for Factor. <laughs> like I, I just love the meals and the convenience is is amazing. So Factor delivers fresh, ready to eat meals right to your doorstep. They have a team of gourmet chefs who create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Factor is my go-to for work days from home. I love not having to do any of the planning, the prepping, the cleaning up from cooking, like especially on those days where I get busy and I just forget to think about lunch until all of a sudden I realize I'm super hungry and I want to eat right now. I just love how quickly I can go from thinking about the fact that I'm hungry to actually sitting down and eating a delicious meal, literally two minutes. And uh, that is my microwave telling me that my factor meal is done. Here it is after literally two minutes, I just take the factor meal out of the fridge, pop it in the microwave and it's ready to eat. It's just like a super low maintenance, easy meal. It's the best. Plus the food is so good. Factor has over 35 weekly meal options to choose from that are all packed with flavor. And there's lots of variety to choose from to meet your meal preferences and nutritional needs. Here is my lunch today, the butternut squash and spinach risotto. I love anything with butternut squash. So as soon as I saw this on the menu, I was like, yes, please. I knew I made a good call. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch. You can head to factor75.com or click the link in the description and use code Sierra50 to get 50% off your first factor box. Thank you, factor. Now um, I need to eat because after lunch and just a little bit here, we've got some filming to do. So we are filming just two quick little intros for upcoming Schultzy Collective videos. Both of those videos have been shot and this is just like the, the part of the video where I sit down, I concisely explain what the video is going to be. And we've been moving these videos in a much less scripted direction, but this intro part is the one part that's still scripted. And I spent like a long time trying to make sure that I explain the concept concisely and the intro doesn't like ramble on forever so that we can get right into, right, in, right into the meat and potatoes of the video. <laughs> um, so the, the time consuming part of this is actually scripting it. All of that I did last week. So the actual filming part of this is going to be pretty quick. I'm just reading from the teleprompter and uh, I did bring a, a change of clothes to change into for the second intro so that they're, they're not too similar. So here is the setup. We've got Jess behind the camera, teleprompter ready to go, monitor here. So we tweaked the camera settings a little bit since the last time that I filmed here. So it's gonna be like extra crisp and clear, which I'm really excited about. And um, we fine tuned the set a little bit more from some of the comments that we saw. So I think this setup, these next two intros is gonna be like our best yet. I'm excited about it. And we have lav mics for better audio. Amazon Halloween intro, take one. Alex Earl intro, take one. If they really live up to the hype or if it's just cool by association. Cool. Great, okay, cut. That's a wrap. Well, filming went super quick. That was like even quicker than I expected. So got that done. And then I came back out to my desk. I've been working on um, something for an upcoming sponsorship for like the past 45 minutes. And now that I have that wrapped up, I figured it's a good time to pick back up the vlog, give you guys an update. And I just have an hour left in my workday. So just a couple more things on the to-do list. I need to review the next episode of the podcast, 20 whatever. And um, while I do that. That's like a good opportunity for multitasking when I'm listening back since it doesn't take like full, full brain power. So I, I saved a couple like less thought intensive things for the end of the day. So I could do those together. Um, just like scheduling vlogs, scheduling some short form and uh, editing some photos. So we'll get that done. And uh, the, the photos and the short form I have are from our trip 
to Oregon, which was like two weeks ago, and I still haven't posted about it, which I usually post delayed anyways, but usually not like this delayed. Usually like we'll get home from a trip and then I'll post about it. But like, I just like started posting normal things when we came back and then I kind of forgot about it. So I'm like, okay, let's get the post up. Cause I did take some cute photos there and I didn't vlog the trip, but I took some clips on my phone that um, we edited into like a short form kind of mini vlog from each day. And so I want to share those. And it was a really fun trip. We, we went to like the real Halloween town where the Disney movie was filmed. And that was just super fun and like nostalgic and Grace loves Halloween. So she was super into it. So yeah, I'll uh, wrap up that stuff and then that'll be the day. I'm, I'm excited for just like a chill evening at home tonight. I feel like for the past couple weeks, there have been a lot of evenings where either Steven or I am working late. And um, so we, there's been more like trade-off in the evenings versus just like all of us together family time. Um, and that's what tonight is going to be. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and just hanging out and playing with Grace and having a family dinner and hopefully going to bed early because I'm so tired and I feel like I had such an easy day. Like today was so chill and I feel like I could just curl up on the floor and fall asleep right now. Like I don't even need a bed and I'm like, not, I'm not a napper. Like it's just pregnancy makes me so tired and like not just like fatigue tired but like sleepy tired like i kind of feel like i could just take a nap on command at any time of the day <laughs> so i've been going to bed like pretty early every day and uh i don't think today will be any different <laughs> but all right let's finish up this to do list Hi. Hey, hello, and welcome back to 20 Whatever. Hello, it is 8 p.m. The night is winding down. We had a very nice evening, and uh, now Steven is getting Grace to bed. He's gonna read her a book. Oh, and then we'll probably go to bed shortly after. Um, Grace and I are going to Disneyland tomorrow with Rachel, which we're so excited about. She, she wanted to like pick out our outfits and stuff. So we were laying those out and then she was like, mama, can you paint my nails for Disney? So we got out the nail polish and I gave her a little manicure, which she's so cute with it. Like she just sits so still and she leaves her hands like sitting there to dry. It's always a fun thing for us to do together. Um, but yeah, probably gonna be going to bed pretty shortly here. <sighs> Wanna get a good night's sleep before we go to Disney in the morning. We're meeting um, at the park at like 9.30 um, and then we're just gonna do a half day. I think we're gonna head home like around one or so at Grace's nap time and um, we have her dance. She has a dance class now in the afternoon. Um, she just started another dance class. We've been doing, you know, like the parent and me dance class for a while, but now that Grace is older, she is able to do classes at a another studio that has like other options than just ballet because at like the youngest starting age for dance it's pretty much just ballet but as they get older you know they add in other things and so uh grace just started this tap class which she just she loves the shoes <laughs> like the tap shoes and, and you know the sound that they make and all the little steps that they do with them so that's exciting for her and it's just cool that there's like more options as she gets older than just the ballet but she does love that ballet class so we're still doing Doing that one. Um, but this class is actually not parent and me. It's just a, a kids dance class. So I sit, I sit in the back and watch with the parents. So we'll be doing that tomorrow afternoon. I think I'm going to pack her dance bag and bring it with us just in case. Although we're planning to come back home before dance. I feel like just in case I might as well pack it. So I think I'm going to get out of bed in a minute here, do that, wash my face. Oh, and I think Steven's coming in. He must have just gotten Grace down. Hello. Hello, world. <laughs> Gosh, she's so cute. Magical bedtime. Yeah, as I was walking out, she's like, hey, daddy, daddy. I was like, what? And she looked, Mwah. <laughs> Yeah, she's uh, very excited for tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm excited. We we usually go, because we have passes, we usually go like once or twice a month. But it's been a minute since we've been, just because, you know, pregnancy things. So now that I'm feeling better. That's right. We can talk about it now. Huh? Yeah. This is the first vlog post announcement. Wow. -y. I was telling Steven how nice it was today to not have to be like constantly self-editing to make sure I don't <laughs> say anything that like lets on that I'm pregnant. Because mm -hmm. now you know. You. You know. I'm so tired. Yeah. I want to go to bed like in maybe like 20 minutes. Yeah. Want to watch TikToks before bed? Um, sure. I actually only have a couple, but that's always a fun thing that we like to do in the evenings. <laughs> All right. Well, I will uh, catch up with you guys tomorrow at Disney. And I will not be at Disney. <laughs> so, bye. <laughs>
Thank you. We're in. Good morning. We are at Disneyland. I'm so excited. We're headed to Fantasyland to meet Rachel. And I'm just so happy to be here. All the Halloween decorations are up. Grace is super excited about possibly meeting Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas because they only do meet and greets at Halloween time. So we're hoping for that later. I, I'm feeling really good today. No morning sickness. And usually if I get past like 9 a.m., I'm in the clear for the rest of the day. So things are looking good. It's a beautiful day. Got on the Halloween town shirt. We are ready to go. Look who I found. <laughs> Is that Sleeping Beauty? that she likes to bake with her fairies and said, do you like to bake anything? And Grace, Grace goes, goes chicken, chicken nuggets. nuggets. I was like, that's the most relatable thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> yes, I love to bake chicken nuggets. <laughs> Grace's favorite Disney treat. It. You want me to hold it? Okay, yeah. there you go. And I also got the cheesy garlic pretzel bread. This is a new thing and I haven't tried it, but it sounds and looks really good. So. Oh, it's Ariel. There she is. Oh my gosh. You want to wave to her? Hi, Ariel. Wow. Whoa. Okay, garlic pretzel cheesy bread twist thing. Amazing. And we get to say hi to Ariel while I eat it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Guess who we got to meet? Sally. Jack Skellington and Sally. And you got to show them your outfit? Yeah. <laughs> he was so nice. He was so nice. And Sally. <laughs> and Sally too. Now we're gonna go have some lunch. Maybe do another ride or two and then that'll be the day. What a day. Honestly, I feel like a half day when pregnant is oh, like a full day. A full day. Like a like a more like open till close day. <laughs> By the time I got here, I was like, oof, it's been a day. <laughs> Rachel and I were saying that if we do this trip next year, there will be three times the children. Literally. Literally. <laughs> uh, it's so fun, like, getting to be pregnant together oh and, and going through all of this with you. It's just... I love it because I feel like I can complain about whatever I want, and you're like, I got you. Yes. I get it. Please. Get there, and let's go eat. Rachel and I were saying we want to come here. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe during Vlogmas would be fun. Oh, my God. And do like just the two of us and eat all of our pregnancy cravings. Literally, like eat our way through Disneyland. Yes. Like this crazy, hectic, so much food. Oh, sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. And I didn't get to do that when I was pregnant with Grace because it was closed. And I craved okay, Dole Whip and popcorn like no other. Don't even say those words right now. We're going to go eat. Otherwise, I'd be like, okay, we're Where's the Dole Whip and where's the popcorn? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm excited. I think that the, yeah, just a pregnant lady here. Yes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to like enjoying food again because right now I've still been very food aversion-y. But like, I feel like once I get to the You're second, well, I'm in the second trimester, but. When you get like further in, it was like a week ago that all of a sudden I was like, wow, I could literally eat anything. Yes. I could eat anything and I'd be happy right now. <laughs> See, and that sounds amazing because right now even my favorite foods, I'm like, ugh. Oh, that's awesome. eh. But when we come back on our pregnant lady day, all bets are off. <laughs> We are 
back home and oh my gosh, what a day. We had such an amazing day. Disneyland was great and it was just so much fun to have that time with Rachel and with Grace. We had such a blast. Um, and then Grace slept the whole drive home and dance class was also amazing. I feel like today she really like fully came out of her shell and was just like next level with everything. And, and the whole drive home, she was like recounting every step in the class and was really excited to tell Steven about it, which the, the other thing that we have been recounting over and over and actually was the first thing that she said to Stephen when we walked through the door was about at Disneyland meeting Jack and Sally. I, I think that was like a very formative experience for her. She has just been talking about that and like reliving it nonstop. But like really from the second after we met them, she just kept telling me and Rachel that she was so happy and she loved meeting them. And then she would ask us if we liked meeting them. And she was like going over like the whole little conversation that they had with her, which the, the, the cast members who are friends with Jack and Sally are amazing. Like I feel like it would be hard to balance being like a spooky Halloween character and also like having interactions with little kids like that and they were just so amazing and like it meant so much to Grace and I'm so glad that we got to do that. I'm gonna have to like print out that picture for her or something and like frame it for her room because that that was just so great and the whole day was just really awesome and effortless and uh, well I say effortless in terms of like Everything went very smoothly, but I definitely feel exhausted, like way more exhausted than I usually am after like a half day at Disney like this, which is the way that we typically do Disney because we have passes. It's pretty rare that we actually go for like a full day like you know we would before we had passes when you would like buy a day ticket and you like want to make the most of everything and do everything we usually take our our disney days pretty chill pretty slow sometimes just like go for a couple hours maybe do a ride or two meet some characters walk around and typically that is not that tiring for me but today, well, I mean, today was totally different, but obviously being pregnant uh, makes me a lot more tired. So I am uh, definitely gonna be going to bed early again tonight, which will probably be not too long here. Um, Steven was already making dinner when we got home. So we just finished eating that. And now Steven and Grace are playing. I'm gonna go join them for a little bit and then uh, curl up in bed and probably not move until the morning. So that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. and. Um, Rachel was also vlogging today, so make sure to check out her video. I'm gonna link it in the description, and I'll see you next time. Hi, sweet pea, I'm coming. Bye.